Windows 10 has a new feature coming, basically allows you to auto restart apps upon a reboot. It's very simple to use, but it comes with a couple caveats. So we're going to cover those here. Now to test this, what I did is I've opened up a bunch of different apps here. And you'll see that I have a notepad, for example, a web browser, and you can open up as many as you like to test. Here's the calculator. The problem is, is that this doesn't work for everything when you reboot. It mainly works for Windows Store apps and a uh, browser probably, but even File Manager uh, we have a problem with. So let's take a look. But you know what? I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to bring up an old uh, program that runs under the desktop. I'm going to use Movie Maker. Uh, it doesn't. It isn't an app. So let's just see how that does. So when we're ready to reboot, we go down here in the lower left-hand corner and hit the power button. And you'll see here, you can set a check mark. And along that check mark is on. Uh, supposedly, when it reboots, uh, it will go ahead and bring up uh, the programs. Uh, matter of fact, on a hard or a cold boot, it should do it as well. So here I am after the uh, reboot and the system starts to come up and we'll see what programs launch. And there's the browser with my website. Okay, so that came up fine. At least uh, Edge did. Uh, you have to check to see if your favorite browser does. So if you look at some of the other programs, I go down here to my taskbar and see what's running. And I can tell here uh, that the notepad's still running and it has the text, which I never saved as a document. So it kept that temporary text. Calculator is already running and assuming that it would still have the last calculator, the calculation in it as well. So no file manager, no movie maker. So it really doesn't apply to everything. You might be better off using the old Hyperfill system uh, to shut down your computer. So when you come up, it's exactly the same state as it was before. So this is being rolled out incrementally. So maybe by the time it's fully uh, deployed, uh, have more features or be more applicable to other programs. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.